praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, viewers all over the world, members of the congregations, I want us to lift up our voice and start worshiping God and start appreciating God for giving us this opportunity this morning to come here to praise His name, to glorify His name. Heavenly Father, I thank you, I honor you, I praise you, God, I glorify your name, I worship you. God, I thank you for this day, thank you for this Holy Sabbath day. We thank you, God, for your blessings. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your grace upon our life. We thank you, God, because you are a faithful God, you are a righteous God. Heavenly Father, we knew our spirit within us. We pray against every power from the kingdom of darkness. Lord, we thank you, God, for another day added to our life. We thank you for the families and loved ones. We thank you, God, for another Sunday. We thank you for your provisions. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, God, because you are so faithful, you are a righteous God. You are God of today, you are the ancient of the day, you are the rock of the ages. You are the Alpha and the Omega in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray thee, O oh God, continue to use us mightily. I commit the entire service in the hands of you. Heavenly Father, make a way where there is no way, O oh God. I call upon all those who are on their way coming, Lord, have travel massing upon them, O oh God. Heavenly Father, drive them safely. You be the GPS of the cars they drive in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray for your empowerment. I pray for every power from the kingdom of darkness. I silence them, O oh God. I take total authority over this day in the mighty name of Jesus. May your will be done. May the blessings of God shine upon us, O oh God. May your grace be upon our life. Heavenly Father, I surrender all unto you. I pray to you, O oh God, make a way where there is no way. Lord, we lift your name above everything. I surrender all unto you. I give you all the glories. I give you all the adorations. Have a way, O oh Lord. Have a way. Take control, Lord. Heavenly Father, I pray unto you, O oh God, may your will be done. May the blessings of God continue to shine upon us throughout the days of our life. Heavenly Father, as your children, they humble before you, O God, they give their soul, spirit, and mind unto you, O God. Come and be with us, O God. Come and fill us with your power, fill us with your anointing. May your grace be upon our life, O God. May the blessings of God continue to shine upon us. Heavenly Father, I pray thee, O God, for those who are not here today, O Lord, let the Spirit of God touch their heart, O God, manifest yourself. Send your portions of blessings upon them, O God, even viewers all over the world. I pray thee, O God, continue to empower them, O God, continue to use them mightily. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you, O God, for your grace upon our life. We thank you, O God, because you are a faithful God, you are a righteous God. There is no one like you, O God. I don't know what you are going through, but your children, they humble themselves before you this time, O God. They submit their situations, their problems in the hands of you because you are the only one who will take control over every situation, oh God. Heavenly Father, we pray that may your will be done. May the blessings of God be upon our life, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to lift up our voice and start confessing our sins and pray and ask God to have mercy upon us, to cleanse us away every wrong dreams, everything that we have done. May the Lord of God continue to intervene. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray unto you, God, have mercy over your children, have mercy over everything that we have done contrary to your will. I pray for your mercy, I ask for forgiveness. Have mercy over my families, have mercy over the entire universe, oh God. We are living in a sinful world, there are so many atrocities, so many disasters happening in the world today, oh Lord. Children are obedient, they are disobedient to oh God, to their parents, so many gunshots, so many things that are happening in the world. Heavenly Father, we don't know what is going on, but Lord, we pray, oh God, let your mercy intervene, oh God, let your mercy intervene. Heavenly Father, have mercy, let your mercy continue to touch your children, oh God. Heavenly Father, we pray unto you, oh Lord, we pray for your mercy, oh God. Let your mercy never cease in our hearts, oh God. Let your mercy never cease in our hearts. Let your mercy continue to be healed, oh God. Heavenly Father, I pray, oh God, have mercy over my families, my friends, and my loved ones, oh God. Even viewers all over the world, just wherever you are, I pray that your mercy will reach upon you, oh God. Every area where you are getting struggle, every area where there is issues, oh God. 
I pray that Lord stop turn the heart and take the way, oh God. The challenges, oh God, every problems, every things that we are going through, I pray for your mercy. I pray for forgiveness. Even those that were wrong, oh God, let them have mercy in their heart, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to lift up our voice and plead the blood of Jesus over our life and life of our families. In every instrument, every word that is about to preach today is being covered with the blood of Jesus. Even the environment where we are today is being covered with the blood of Jesus. We know there is a power in the blood of Jesus. Let lift off our voice and pray, O oh God, Heavenly Father. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life. I plead the blood of Jesus over the life of my families, my loved ones, my sons and daughters. In the mighty name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus every instrument. Even the word that we're about to preach today, oh God, is being covered with the blood of Jesus. I cover every word, every testimony. Even wheresoever you are, you'll be covered with the blood of Jesus. Those who are on their way coming, I release the blood of Jesus to cover them, oh God. Drive them safely, oh God. Heavenly Father, we honor you. We praise your name, oh God. I give you all the glories. I give you the adoration. Because you are so worthy to be praised. You are, a, you are a faithful God. You are a righteous God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, lift up our voice and pray and ask that the Holy Spirit of God reveal in everything that we are doing today, even the days of the Pentecost when Christ was giving admonitions to the brethren and they feel the power of God and they even start speaking in tongues. Heavenly Father, I know the word was so strong. Let us lift up our voice today and ask the Spirit of God to be with us, to reveal us, to enlighten us, to direct us in every areas of our life. Let us lift up our voice, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I lift my voice before you, God, and invite the Holy Spirit of God to dwell with us. I pray again, contrary spirit today, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, reveal, O oh God, reveal your power. Be with us, direct us, O oh God. Be with us, be with our companions in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray to you, God, let the Holy Spirit of God manifest in our life. Holy Spirit of God, I need you, I need your directions. Come and take control, come and have the way, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray unto you, O oh God. If you view us all over the world, invite the Holy Spirit of God into your heart. Focus unto the Lord. Let the Lord direct you. Let the Holy Spirit of God enlighten your mind. Let the Holy Spirit of God fill you with your words, O God. Heavenly Father, I know there is a power in the Holy Spirit of God. Heavenly Father, we worship you, God. We glorify your name. We give you all the praises. We give you all the glories. We give you all the adorations, Lord. You are so faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, eternal Father, we thank you. We honor you. We thank you, God, for this Holy Sabbath day. We thank you, God, for these gatherings. I know you are here with us today. I pray to you, God, and direct the entire service in the hands of you. Come and take control. Come and have a way, oh Lord. We pray, oh God, manifest yourself. We pray for your healings. We pray for your manifestations. We pray for your power, oh God. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Whatsoever we have, it's the problems that we have in our heart. Lord, as we direct our prayer today, O oh Lord, as your children that come before you, they give all unto you, O oh God. Answer prayer, O oh God. We give you all the praises, we give you all the glories, we give you the adorations. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning for coming today. Good morning, viewers of the world. This is a start, a fresh start week. New week for us. We start today. We are going to continue our four power prayer this morning. That's the God of heaven will hear us. He say in the morning, I will lift up my voice in the morning. I will direct my prayer and look up to you. Father Lord, we are before your presence this morning. We are sinners. We have come as a sinners. We have done many wrongs, slowly or knowingly. We have come to you to have mercy upon us. You said when we, we gather together, you dwell amongst us. You said when we come together, when we ask for forgiveness, 
You are our master upon us. We should forgive one another. Lord, we are before your throne today. You said we will come together. Whatever we agreed on upon this act, on this act, you in heaven will endorse it. You will treat and in your presence. We came with one heart, one mind, one soul. We join our faith with viewers all over the world this morning. Lord, come and have your way in this service. Come and bless all of us. Look into our heart, Lord, and bless us to the riches of your glory. We commit this service today to your hands, and Lord, you will break your bread in us. You break your bread in this service. And Lord, as we came today empty, we will go all full with your word. We give our glory to you as we honor you in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is Amen. Psalm 37, verses 23 24 says, The Lord directs the step of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall. For the Lord holds them by the hand. We're going to ask the Lord this morning all his plans that he has for us, all his details, the details for this week. We pray that God will direct us to the right plan that he has for us in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, direct us for the plans you have for us this week in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, direct us for the plans you have for us this week in the name of Jesus. Lord, direct us today. Direct us this week for the plans you have for us this week. Come and direct us, Lord, direct us today for the plans you have for us this week. Lord, direct us in the name of Jesus. Father, come and direct us today. Lord, direct us as of today. Direct us to every plans you have for us this week in the name of Jesus. Father, direct us today. Lord, direct us today. This week for every plans you have for us. Lord, come and direct us today in the name of Jesus. Father, direct us today, direct us today for every plans you have for our lives or the life of our loved ones. Father, come and direct us today. Direct us today, Father, direct us today in the name of Jesus. Direct us in all that we are about to do in our work, in our family, in our daily activities. Lord, direct us. Open our eyes to see beyond where we are going. Direct us in everything that we are about to do this week. Lord, go before us and direct us. Lord, go after us and direct us wherever we are going. Lord, go with us and direct us today. In the name of Jesus. Father, direct us today. Father, direct us to Father, direct us this week in every activities. Direct us this week wherever we are going. Direct us this week in every endeavor. Direct us this week in our job, in our activities, Father Lord, in our homes, in our family. Everything we are about to do, Lord, direct us this week. Father, we ask for your direction this week. Direct us this week, oh Lord. Lord, direct us this week in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. We are looking at John 10, 27. John 10, 27 says, My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they followed me. We are going to pray this week that we declare the week of open doors and favor. We declare the week of open doors and favor that the Lord will make a way where it seems to be no way. He will guide our step. He will direct us into abundance. Lord, open doors. Open doors and favor for us this week. Open doors and favor for us this week, Lord, Abba Father. Making a way where it seems to be no way. Open doors for us and our loved ones this week. Father, come and open doors for us. The doors the enemy locked before us. Lord, come and have your way and open those doors. Lord, come and have your way and open those doors. Lord, come and have your way and open those doors. He said, Hey, man, I am a man. He said, Hey, man, I am a man. He said, Hey, man, I am 
Kabala Sataya Badala. Come and have your way today, this week. Come and have your way this week, Lord. Oh, Pundas, oh, Pundas, and favor for us today and our loved ones. Lord, come and have your way. Guide our step. Help us today. Direct us into every way. In abundance, Lord. Guide our step today. Guide our step today. Oh, Pundas, and favor, Lord. Makatalele. Sena managara gara gara gara. Hey, Satakata. Hey, Katakata Barada. Hey, Yamasata Yagara Yagara. Father, guide, direct our step this week. Father, direct our step this week. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. We are looking at Philippians 4 13. That says, Do, do in. I can do all things to him who strengthen me. We all can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We are going to ask the Lord for power and strength to help us get through the week. Let's ask God for power and strength to get through this week. Father, bless us with power and strength to get through this week. Lord, bless us with power and strength to get through this week. Father, Lord, bless us with power and strength to get through this week, Lord. Bless us with power and strength to get through this week. In the name of Jesus, Father, bless us with power and strength to get through this week. Lord, bless us with power and strength to get through this week. Everything we do, we do through your power, through your strength. Lord, come and give us abundance that we'll be able to do all we can this week. Give us that power. Give us that grace. Give us that strength to do all we can in our job, in our daily activities. Come and have your way today, my baby. Yes, Santa Catalana. He must say, Bele, 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 Yamanada. Ah, my shady, Bele, Bele, Bassatayana. Come and have your way this week. Give us that grace, Lord. Give us that power. Give us that anointing. Father, that we'll be able to go through this week. Bless us with power. Give us that strength, that grace, Lord, to go through this week. Father, Lord, give us it. Come and bless us. Come and bless us this week. Come and bless us this week. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. We are looking at Jeremiah 17, 14. says, heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved for you. I am one I praise. We are going to pray this week for protection from sickness and healing from sickness. Lord, protect us from sickness. Heal us from sickness. Lord, protect us from sickness. Heal us from sickness. Father, Lord, protect us from sickness. Heal us from sickness. Lord, protect us from sickness. Heal us from sickness. Father, Lord, protect us from sickness. Heal us from sickness. Father, protect us from sickness. Heal us from sickness. In the name of Jesus, we ask the Lord to protect us today. We ask the Lord to protect us today from every sickness, from sickness. Lord, protect us from sickness. Lord, protect us from sickness, from every sickness. Lord, protect us from sickness and heal us from sickness. Protect us from sickness and heal us from sickness in the name of Jesus. Come and protect us. Come and heal us from every sickness that the enemy has taken for us. Every sickness, every cancer, every diabetes, every back pain, every new pain. Father, Lord, come and heal us. Father, Lord, come and heal us today from every sickness, every sickness that is not of you. Father, come and heal us, Lord. Every sickness, every sickness, Lord, come and heal us today. Lord, come and heal us today. Lord, come and heal us today. In the name of Jesus, Father, come and heal us from every sickness. Father, come and heal us from every sickness. This week, Lord, come and heal us today from every sickness. Lord, heal us today from every sickness. Father, come and heal us today from every sickness. Heal us today in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Genesis 12, 2, he said, I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you and make your name great. So that you'll be a blessing. We are going to prophesy in our life today that God will make us a great nation. And God will bless us and make our name great. And we will continue to be a blessing to others. Open your mouth and prophesy in your name, in your life, in the life of your children, unborn and born yet, that the Lord will make them and make you yourself a great nation. And God will bless you and make your name great. And that you will be a blessing to the Lord. Open your mouth and prophesy. Prophesy upon your own life today. Tell the Lord what you want him to do for you. That you will be great. Your name will be great. You will be a great nation. Your name will be great. That you will be a blessing to others. Lord, come and make us blessing to others. Lord, God, and bless our name. Bless our nation. Bless the great nation, Lord. Come and bless your name. Bless us to the name of the Lord. Lord, come and bless us today. 
Makata lege de be de be de be de. Ele bala bala na sata kata. Ele be de be de be de be de be de. Ele bala bala hi. E sata kata kata kata. Ma de be de ya na sata ya. Ele be de be de ya de de bala bala. E kata 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 kata. I ma le ya shaka kata lege de be de. Ha. Ma she ya de de ya kata. I me le ya de de ya. E kata ba de 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 de. E ma la ya na na ya sata. Hallelujah, amen, we are marching forward, hallelujah. 
Now we are going to go in his presence to worship. You worship God through singing. You worship God through praise. And now we are going to deep worship. You are going to connect yourself with God. You are going to speak with God. And God will be here today and answer all or answer prayer. We are going to start to sing the healing that the Lord will be able to connect with us. My soul magnifies the Lord. Yeah. 
get in my socks right now. Go from the heart. He's here to listen. Speak to the Lord. What you want the Lord to do today for you. Go from your heart. Commit yourself into the hands of God today. Commit your heart. Commit your family. This is the time to speak. The Holy Spirit is here to bless your hearts and to anoint us today. The Holy Spirit is here. God is here. He said, We are two or three gathered in my name and dwell amongst you guys. Father is here today to answer our prayer. He's here to bless us. Lord, we are vulnerable. We are before your presence. Come and have your way in us. Come and do what you want to do. Come and do mighty things. Come and do great things in our life to the Lord. We are here to the Holy Spirit. Come and heal us. Come and bless us. Come and answer our prayer. Connect with the Holy Spirit. He's here to speak. Connect to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is here to speak this morning. Hey, Katayana. He may be the best at Katabana. Hey, speak to him, Lord. We are here, Lord. Come and bless us. Come and heal the sickness. Come and heal the pain. Come and take many things away from us. Our pledges, Father, Lord, take it from us. The pledges worldwide, take it from us. Our timely death with my child, that is not our portion. We are connecting with you, Lord. Hey, Father, Lord, we thank you for connecting to the Holy Spirit. I feel your presence here. I can feel your presence, Lord. Hey, 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 Holy Spirit, I thank you for coming today. Bless us today. Come and have your way. Do what you want to do with us. Our body is for you. We are vulnerable, Lord. We commit the sickness. We commit the illness. We commit many other problems today. Come and have your way. Connect to the Holy Spirit. Hey, Hey, Father, we thank you, Lord. We honor your name. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for hearing us today. Thank you for answering our prayer. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray. Holy Lord, everything we need is found in you. For those of us who came here feeling broken, bring restoration. For those of us who came here feeling weak, bring strength. For those of us who came here weeping, bring joy. For those of us who came here with doubt, bring faith. For those of us who came here feeling shame, bring freedom. For those of us who came here feeling, feeling burden, bring rest. For those of us who came here feeling anxious, bring peace. Father Lord, I hope on today's service into your hands. Bless the servant of God. With your word, Lord, that those who are hearing will not only be a hearer of the word, but a doer of the Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your presence. We thank you for healing us. We thank you for blessing us. We soak every word of the viewers that have joined this service today with the precious blood of Jesus. We give all glory to you, Lord, as we honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, so shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please have a seat. Thank you all for that wonderful, melodious voice. As we are singing here, all of us will go back in heaven and sing in the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I welcome Brother Felix to give us the church announcement. Good morning, church. Yes, let's listen to the announcement. Every prayer is from, is from 9 
45 a.m. to 10 a.m. Church service every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Morning meeting every third Sunday of the month from 12.30 p.m. to 1 p.m. Bible studies every Tuesday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Midweek service every Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Prayer meetings every Thursday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Night vision every last Friday of the month from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. Evangelism. Every Saturday, every member is encouraged to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. OPM is encouraged every member to be on time for church service, Bible studies, mid service, and prayer meetings. Every member is encouraged to contribute to the need funds and the building funds as you continue to help the Lord will increase your tenfold. Please, every member are encouraged to silence their phones and limit movement while the preaching is on as you continue to respect the kingdom of God, you will be blessed. Testimony time. Yeah. As we all know, uh, what the Almighty has been doing for us for the previous days and previous weeks. So, uh, we need anybody, we want anybody who and who have any testimony to come up and testify. Today's date, I want to thank God for the grace of God upon my life. I want to thank God for making me live among the living today. I want to thank God for all He has done in my life up to today's date. I just want to appreciate it. I want to give all glory back to Him in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God continue to guide you and protect you. Yes. Can we get to the we have another. Yeah. And it is fire. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to testify about God guidance and protections in my life and the life of my families. Even also for the members of this church. We thank God at least the work of God is still going on. I'm grateful to my Father in heaven for his blessings, even to find myself in the presence of God in the house of the Lord. It's a joyful thing. I thank God for the life of my family, my loved ones. I'm grateful to my Father in heaven. I know Jesus Christ is the Son of God, is the Redeemer. I know that God lives. This I know to be true, and I leave it to you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God continue to guide you and protect you in the name of Jesus. Okay. We are going to testify again. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Okay. Oh, let's go for the scripture reading. Bro, the boat, why is coming? We thank for coming to worship with us. Come again and invite a friend. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Our scripture reading this morning um, is from the book of Amos. Amos 3. 1 to 11. Mm -hmm. 
Amos chapter 3, verse 1 to 11. Amos chapter 3, verse 1 to 11. Jesus' name. Amen. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have my own, and all your families from the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Will a lion lie on the forest when we have no grave? Will a young lion fly out of his tent if he haven't taken nothing? Can the bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no gin is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in the sea and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord has not done it? Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto the servants, the prophets. The lion and the who, who will not fear, the Lord God has spoken. Who can be prophesied? Published in the palaces at Ashdod, and in the palaces in the land of Egypt, and say, Assemble yourself upon the mountains of Samaria, and behold the great tumults in the midst thereof, and the oppressed in the midst of in the midst thereof. For they know not to do right, says the Lord, who stop of violence and robbery in their places. Therefore, the Lord God will punish them for their iniquities. Therefore, the Lord God will punish them for their iniquities. Therefore, thus said the Lord, and every seed there shall be even down about the land. And, and he shall bring down the strength from him, him. and that the places shall be his fault. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. today's date. We thank God for the grace of God upon our lives. We just want to give him thanks for all he has done for us today. We just want to appreciate his presence because we are here. That was a matter of voices. Like all the voices have been part of all the voices when I used to be um, back home. Um, but the voices are gone now. So let's keep it up. What I saw today, I know that heaven is rejoicing. So today our topic is going to be your house on the word of God. How to build your house and the Lord on the word of God. We are going to look into this passage. It's just a few passages, not too much. But how can we build our homes on the word of God? 
So today our topic, we are going to look in Matthew. Our reading is going to be from Matthew 7, from 24 to 27. We are going to look into these passages and see how we can build our homes on the word of God. So Matthew 7, 24 to 27. Someone can take that lead in place. Matthew 7. Yes, sir. Um, From 24 to 27. Matthew 7. From 24 to 27. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and do it then. I will liken him unto a, a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Yeah. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and they beat up the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, and do it then not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. Yeah. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds yeah. blew, and they beat up the house, they beat upon the house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for that. He said, Well, we built our home. So this passage, what this passage is trying to tell us, therefore, whosoever hear this saying of mine, and do it then. I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock, and the rain descent on the floor. Floods came, and the winds blew, and bent upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. So what we are trying to look in this reading, we are looking how we have built our home. We have three different things in the world. We talk about the rain, we talk about the wind, we talk about the flood. We are going to look into that. He said, on the word of God, Jesus says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. That is Matthew 4.4. 4. We cannot live by bread alone, but every word that is proceeded from the mouth of God. God speaks to scriptures. We all know that. When you see some people are great, you see some people continuously reading the word. When, when you read the word without stopping meditating it, God starts speaking to you. You don't need, you only need a guidance for God or maybe you have a spiritual mentor. But God can speak. God speaks to, to scripture. But God also speaks to us through dreams, through, through vision. He gives us by the Holy Spirit to other people. Who carry a word to us from God? God speaks through, through dreams. He speaks to us through vision. He speaks to us through revelation. He even speaks to us to men and women of God who carry the words and by angels who can speak to dreams. All this God speaks to us and also can shut into our ears words from God like a voice of trumpet. He said, This is the way, walk in it. That's a scripture. God said, walk in it. This is the way we listen to that. All of God's word are equal power and strength. Whether a scripture or dream, the power is not in how the word is delivered. The power is of how the word itself. We must live by the word that comes from God. We have, many of us, we do not build our own with the word of God. Everything about us is the word of God. The purpose of this book that the word is awakening us to the voice of God. Whether it is carried by scripture, by dreams, by another person, by true, but brought directly in our mind or by angels. Our desire should be built. Our desire, our desire should be built. Our, our house on the word of God. That house will stand, stop of life. So we are going to see what Jesus says. 
what is threatening our house? What is threatening our house? The wind, we see, it talks about the wind. It says when the wind is moving, the hair is caused by different different pressure within our atmosphere. We hear when they talk about hurricane. We hear when they talk about all these things. We see some people, their house will stand there. It's not that all these houses that are gone, meaning that they are, they, are, they are not stand by the word of God. But you can see the power of God. We have seen where hurricane came and went through flood, but some houses are still there. Why? The Bible tells us when you beat your house, you have to beat your house with the house of God. When the rain came, the rain are very glad and greatly. They can be a fossil drizzle that sucks the joy out of our day. They can be light. We may, we may need umbrella to go out, but we still go about our business. All these, these are three things that he said in the passage. He said the winds, the rain, and the flood. The flood is obviously times when all of our life threatened. When it tells you the flood is coming, everybody's running, running up and down. But in Matthew 7, 24, see, Jesus stated that those who hear his word and do them a wise builder. They have built their homes on rock, solid foundation. The wind blows, the rain comes, and the flood comes, but the house stands firm. Those who hear his word but fail to live by them are foolish builders. When we build our home, a lot of us, a lot of families are here. Our own is the church, our own is our job, our own is our family, our own is our daily activities. The reason why we are saying this to build our home, you need to have foundation with your family. When we talk of foundation, there should be a devotion in our home. Our entire life, everything about us should pertain to the things of God. We cannot live a life, a day without reading a scripture. We cannot live a, 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 a day without doing anything. He said the house we are building is an image for our own self. It represents our faith, our vacation, our job, our relationship, our health, our home. We need to build all these in, in, into the word of God. We cannot say, some people will tell you, oh, I've planned to go to vacation, I've bought my ticket and held all these things. But they will never use the word of God to say, by his grace. Or by the grace of God. You know how many people have planned something for next week? Or next year, they never know whether their time will be before that time. Everything we say around us, it needs to be built with the word of God. By his grace next week. By his grace tomorrow. By his grace, we cannot, because we don't know what God has for us. God told us, all we worry about is today. Tomorrow, we never, it's never promised us today. So I want to encourage us. When you build our life, you build everything within the things of God, you will see. He said the house we are building is an image for our own lives. It represents our faith, our vacation, our job, our family, our relationship, our health, etc. Notice the entire house must rest on a solid foundation, not just a few parts. Our entire life should rest on the foundation of God. The foundation of God begins from the one when you are born. It depends on the family where you came from. Some people came from a family where it's a religious family, their foundation. And to be honest, it's just now you see how the world is going, but to be honest, when you go to this family, you really see that that foundation was built from childhood. Some of us struggle because the foundation was not built there, but we are, we are building it little by little. But with our own family, we need to lay that foundation where in. your child cannot go out a day without praying. Your child cannot go to bed a day without praying. Your child cannot come to school from work from school without reading the scripture. These are the foundation we need to, to build in the life of our children. It's not when you train a child in the way of the law, the child will not depart. They will grow with it. They will grow. Some of us came from a family where it's a Muslim background, but we grew ourselves to where we are. The mother is praying, never stopping not to go to church, but you still go to church. You grew your own foundation. I grew my foundation to where I am. The rest of my generation, we grew our foundation. Some foundation is from scratch. Some foundation is now. But anything you do, it has to do with the things of God. We can't do anything. Even the jobs that we do, 
We are all from, a lot of people are coming from different places. You don't know the art of man, which is very wicked. When you see a man saying something out of their mouth, it's already out of, in the stomach. It's wickedness. So when you don't know this, you have to build yourself in that way, the foundation in the way that you believe that wherever you stand, nothing, nothing can happen to you. Nobody can do nothing. You need to have that in you. I have that in myself. It's not part of the job, but I know when I step out, I always tell myself, when I'm going out, I'm coming back in. Because I have that belief. I have built that foundation of faith that everything I do is connection with the things of God. So we want everybody to be like that. He said, building your house on the word of God is a very wise decision to go. This is the goal of this book. This is what the word is telling us in Matthew 7, 24. You building your house in the word of God is a very wise decision to go with. This is a goal for this book. We need to build even our children. They tell you, I was listening to one man of God that was saying, even the cartoons, we, if God cannot open our eyes, we are perishing every day. He said, even the cartoons the children are watching, it's demonic. You cannot build your own. I have a child that will come to my house. Immediately she enters there, what she wants. I said, do you want cartoons? He said, yes. But all the cartoons she watch is religious. She knows the story of Adam and Eve. She knows the story of Elizabeth. The, the story of, of all these great people in the Bible. Young child at the age of nine will tell you about the world. She will not watch none of those other ones. Even the younger ones with her. The baby that is just four months old. Even the younger sister that is two years. All of them don't know about other cartoons. The cartoons that they watch is just religious cartoon. Adventures. They will watch those. When you see the two years watching, you ask questions. She knows how to sing all the songs and she knows how to even say it. They have built, the family has built that foundation. Nobody is able to take that from them because that's what they know. When they grow up, that's what they know. You talk to that nine years, she will tell you she don't even know about all these things, only the cartoon. But this man of God said, my own three daughters in the house, he said, when God opened my eyes and look at all those cartoons, I was afraid. He said, we have to do something. He said, none of them watch us, watches those cartoons. We, we watch something different. But when God cannot open our eyes, we cannot see. We need to start building our own in the word of God. You speak the word of God. He said, speak the word of God in your house. Open your mouth and say something in the four corners of your world. Say the word of God. Let the Holy Spirit dwell in your own. I call my house a house of prayer. People will run from prayer in there because that's all we do. It's not that we are perfect, but we have to beat ourselves around the things of God so that we know that this foundation that we are in, we are safe. Even though something is coming tomorrow, I know that we are safe. Even when we are sleeping, we are sleeping praying. Saturday, Saturday, Friday to Saturday morning, I see myself praying. Two hours I did not sleep. I wake up in the morning and say, I go to sleep. Why I'm just in prayer? Like I'm in transit, praying non-stop. And I remember all what I was praying. Keep praying, I'm not sleeping. I see myself sleeping, but I see myself at the same time praying. We need to have those feelings. When you wake up, you know that, yes, I was, I was sleeping. My body was laying down, but my spirit was praying. We need to lay that foundation. When you have that foundation, there's nothing you should fear. Because you know your family, your generation, your children are in the house of God. Yeah. When you build that family, you can't be ashamed. When they ask your child, what is this? They know. Mm-hmm. You, you, I watch a man of God say, even my son, my son that is six years, know how to do fire prayer. When he start to pray, everybody will run away because that small child will stand there two hours just praying, talking to God. We that hold that, we're scared to pray with one. Say, I'm tired, let me sit. I'm tired, let me just lay down. Some of this prayer is what helps us to go through the day. It's what, because if we cannot see in the name of the Spirit, God cannot open our eyes to see all these things. We need to stand in the Word of God. That's the only protection we have. We cannot, the Bible already told us, we cannot go out of God's will to do other things. If you go out of God's will, unless you go to sorcerers, you go to power leaders, you go to all these mediums. For them to tell you ahead of things, then that's, we are all practicing witchcraft. If we don't want to do that, we stay in the word of God for God himself to speak to us. And the only way he can speak to us, where we are, 
on the solid word. And when you are in the solid word of God, you are able to build the foundation. You will even walk into a situation that you know this situation, I am working in it. But you tell yourself, I walk in it and come out with victory. That's the word of God. He said, Jesus tells us that hearing and doing his work will empower us to withstand these forces. He promises that our houses will not fall. Especially loving what it says in Luke 6 for the 8. What it says in Luke. He said, not only will our house not be destroyed, they won't even be shaken. Now, that is the firm foundation. That is what he said in Luke 6 48. He said, not only will our houses not destroy, they won't even be shaken. Now, this is a firm foundation. He said, our house will not even be shaken. That is what he's saying Jesus told us. If you, when you build your house very well, the enemy will come and they will not be able to shake. But look now, some foundation, some marriages. It's broken, it's going apart because the devil look and look into those homes and see that those homes is not strong with the foundation of God. It's not strong with the word of God. When the devil sees it, go in there. He said, I'm going to scatter. That's why you know the, the secret thing that God created is one is marriage. He wants husband and wife to marriage and have a solid home, a home that they can speak. But now you see the devil, the devil is attacking us. Why? Because he knows that that's what God wants for us. He want, God wants that for us, so he provides us to have a wife or husband to live with. And when you live with your husband, we are not married him to endure. We are married him to love. We see how Adam and we see how um, Abraham and Sarah, how they lived. See the age that they died. They were there. We see all these ones that were in the Bible. They were there. We see Anna and her husband. Even though the husband had another wife, but they were there. The love was still there. We need to build our own in the foundation, in the word of God. So that the devil, when they come, they will shake. But we are still standing there. They will not move us. Great men of God are preaching. They tell you, we've been married for 30 years. You think that 30 years is just by our ways? No. It's the ways of God. God is in that home. If God is not in that home, some of them will tell you, we divorce. Because to live with someone that you don't know, that have different character, you have different character, it's difficult. It's the grace of God that will take you guys. You start counting one year, two year, three, four years. You see ten years. Somebody say, how do you do it? He say, by his grace. We cannot do our own. Ourselves, because everybody have character. We, husband and wife will be in the home. This will tell you, that's my space. If the other one will have the courage, we will be fighting. So, okay, this is your space. You leave it alone. Some of them will tell you, this is their own character. It will be war. But when you have the grace of God in your home, somebody will be the the, the one that will patient, they will look at the situation and say, okay, this is what you want, let me just stay, leave that one alone. He will not even talk, because God will, as, as you have placed the house in the house of God, the Holy Spirit will just come and say, you know what, just be quiet, go. So the situation, you will look at it, you won't talk, you say, ah, let me just shut my mouth. You are building your home because the word is there. When the word is there, that fight will not even come. Something that people fight for. You will explain to somebody, say, this is what happened. Say, ah, if it was me, it would be fire. That's when the Holy Spirit will come and take that fire from you and make that, that energy to pray. He will give you good energy to pray, not the energy to be fighting. Some things, you look at it, you say, Lord, come in me. Come in me. When I used to work at PCS as a supervisor, I did with so many people. They would chat me all night. By then, I would not even smile as a supervisor. My face was long. I would not smile. They don't know nothing about me on Facebook. I would not put my child picture on Facebook. I was just in my own corner because every day they would threaten me. We have camera or everywhere. I would pack my camera in there. Because I was not laughing. I was not doing anything. Somebody asked me, why all the time you don't laugh? I said, this is work. I here to work. Then one of the boss said, just lose a little bit. I said, yes, sir. I start talking to them. I start doing everything. So, a lot of things came at that time. They came with a lot of award. I was there. Other people were there. I got 10 awards. Best employee of the year. Best and this of the year. Best. The other woman asked, what did you do? Did you do something with the CEO? 
But did you do something with all the white people here? Or what did you do? And you go to book because they said people that came from Africa do too much with you. What did you do that you alone, 10, my years of staying there, I've never seen it, only you. I want, who's me, region? Who's me? What did you do? I said, by his grace. Because I have built that foundation. I told God I love you. I can fight anybody to just to go to church Sunday. If even it's just to sit in the church. I used to be back home. I was sick. I would drag myself. You would see me walking only my stomach. My mother said, you would die. I said, if I die inside the church, that would even be the best. I will still take myself in the church. I, I sat one day, I started recording all those years. I said, ah, so God, all those things you are doing is because of this. You wanted to prepare me how to stand and talk about you. I was so in love with the things of God. I don't care whether I am sick, I will go to church. Unless if I cannot move. So I have built that foundation for myself way back. Everything, I will be part of it. If it is all for, to read, I will be part of it. If it is to go, I lay money in church, I go part of it. I have placed myself in so many things. So once uh, things start happening, uh, somebody say you do voodoo. I say, I don't think this one is voodoo. This is bigger than me. Even me, I cannot understand. He says, since I have been in this, this, this job, more than 10 years, we have never got anybody that is said employee of the year. Only you why? I said, I don't know. It's only God. So some things will happen to us, you will not know. You start saying, it's only God. Many things. You will involve, I have involved in many accidents that I'm not even standing here. But everything is only God. You want to build yourself in the word of God, the foundation of God. So anything that comes, you will shake, but they will not be able to do anything to you. You will just hold your eyes and look to the devil and say, look at you. I'm still standing. Let's build ourselves in the things of God. Don't go a day without opening a scripture. Look at a scripture a day and say, you know what? And what this one say? He said, Everyone that heareth this saying of man and doeth them shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the sand descended, and the flood came, and the wind blow, and beat upon the houses, and it fell, and great, great was the fall of it. And it came to pass when Jesus had ended this saying, the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as a scribe. <clears throat> when you wake up every day, you read that one. Yeah. You sit yeah. now within yourself. You start saying to yourself, you say, hmm, this word is deep in me. Read the word. After you don't read the word, then you sit down and meditate on it. We are not only reading the word for what. We are reading the word, meditate on the word. He said, and when the flood arose, the stem broke against that house. Kau could not shake it because it had built well. When you build your house very well, no matter what comes, your relationship, the devil will not be able. You know how many people the devil can do? You see, husband and wife, they start. This one starts, you hear this one. Today is not a good day. I just want to have my day. The only spirit will be the one telling you that, not you. Because women, when man is trying to have their space or something, you see some women will say, Where will stop today? They continue and I come back. They said, today we will continue. I will not stop here. The one that we said last night, you said so much about me. Today, my own, I will say 20 or 40. If you don't have that foundation in that home, that 20 or 40 words will come out. Then you will see now. You see, the, the, rate, the rate of divorce is so high. It's so high. Because we don't know some of these things. When you start giving admonition to people, you start talking about the things of God, say, I didn't know this part. But you have to be in the home with the things of God. You have to speak the word every day. Let the devil know that, yes, this is my foundation. If we don't have those foundation, divorce, children will go astray. Many things will happen. This world that we find ourselves, free world, free for everything. You won't watch TV from morning to night to watch Africa. You want to wait for Nepal or whatever. Light be light has to come. But we have all the facility. So because of that, so many things is happening. So many things. Now the children, when they watch the cartoon, they want to implement. They say, we have watched these things. We want to try it ourselves. They start taking odds now at the age of 14, at the age of 15. Ah, everybody, you just kill somebody just like that. He says, so where is in this book? Where is the book? The 
book that we are talking about is the Bible. Many people who are really Christian, born again, people who have the Spirit of God, do not build their homes on the Word of God. Many who don't build our homes on the Word of God. So it's easy for that house to just scatter because it's not built. Somebody will sit on media two hours on Instagram, just scrolling up and down. I do the same to you. But to read the word of God is difficult. You go tell one now, say, can't sit here, we have a, a, a religious meeting today for two hours about the Bible. Say, ah, I'm not going to get time on. But we will sit and watch movie two hours, Instagram two hours, Facebook, they are there. Some of them, you see them in the morning, they are there till night. What are they looking for in body? They will not. So these areas, the devil came with so many things. So take our attention from the things of God. Media is number one. Way back before, you can't see YouTube. You have to go by the, the, uh, all these movies to watch. Now you go YouTube, just type what type of movie will come in. Anything you will see. Some things that your eyes will not even see is on YouTube. We are not saying all these medias are bad. But when you go, you look behind the scene. Who is behind the scene? You will even go. Some preaching. It's some preaching when you preach against them. When you go to Facebook, they put it down. Say so you cannot preach this type of preaching because you are preaching what is right. So we have to very be careful. All these places where we are going is good, but let build our own. Many Christians, their own is scattered because they refuse to build their own with the word of God. The word of God is what can sustain us. The word of God is what can keep us. I will be feeling sleepy, but I have to read that verse before I go to bed. It will be sinking in my mind. I say, ah, what did I just read? Sleep will be coming there, I will go again. But I have that word in me. I will sleep with that word when I wake up in the morning. I will go back to that verse. I say, okay. We watch scripture. Every day we watch men of God just to get some scripture, not only ourselves. He will be writing one, I will be writing just to read. He will highlight them in his, in his phone. I will highlight them in my iPad. Just to go over them because you can't do all by yourself, but you can get some scriptures from others. We need those. We try just to build our own. We try to live, not to perfection, but to live that religious life. So somebody can see your life and say, What are you doing before you tell them? Say, The word of God. The word of God. Many Christians take insane of this world and evil speculate and cut shots other people and live by this worldly saying. I forget the word of God. It's for nothing. But the word of God, it means a lot. It's just that we cannot search the scripture. But we will learn to search the scripture very well. We will see that the word of God is... is the, the Bible tells us the word of God is what? It's a sword. It's a sword. It can pierce any one of you. It can come in your coat. It can come in your skin and go to the other part. That's how powerful the word of God is. People will not understand... When I say how powerful, when they tell you the word of God can spare you, which is a hand, a, a, a four element, it's sword. And that sword can go through you and cut your path. It means when you read it continuously, that's the same thing it's going to do in you. It can heal the broken heart. It can heal the sickness in you. It can do so many things. We went, the time I used to go to Mount of Fire, one woman was there. We were talking about cancer. By then, my sister was diagnosed. So the woman of God told my sister, I said, you don't need to go to the hospital for surgery or anything. He said, the word will heal you. So what she did, she diagnosed too with cancer. He asked back, the doctor said, you are diagnosed. He said, back to send that. God cannot give me cancer. I cannot stand in the presence of God all night praying up, saying his word as a minister. Then he give me cancer. I say, it's a lie. That cancer, back to send that. What she start doing? She start praying. How she gets in after those 40 days prayer and fasting. When she went back, they go look, they did everything. They say, What did you do? They say, I didn't do anything, it's the word of God. Up to now, she's cancer free. We just have to believe. I have one, my 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 daddy. I call it Dada. He was sick. When I say sick, very sick. They told him cancer, the entire hair on his head, the evil board, up to now. He took, he told the doctor, he said, I will come back. He took all the upper himself, go inside church for 40 days, 40 nights. He fasted and prayed. 
when you talk, you go down to the hospital. He said, I'm, I'm here for the, for the surgery. So when he went for the surgery, they give him day, they said, okay, we'll prepare for the surgery. He got his Bible, laid it on his chest, praying. They came now to take him to go do a test before they to test him all over again and see because the teeth spread out. When they went down, they check, no cancer. Cancer that was spread all over him, no cancer. They said, what did you do? They showed them. He said this. They said, what is this? He said, the Bible. The word. We need to build ourselves in foundation. At times, when testimony don't come our way, we will not understand. Unless when somebody is giving, it's good for us to listen to some, some people's testimony. Then we will know that some people have lived it, they have done it. Not only when big testimony comes, small one comes, but the bigger one you listen. The word of God is powerful. We cannot just look at it and just wave it. He said, this is not a secure way for Christians to go by not securing the word of God. We need every day. You cannot memorize all the words, but the word that you can open wherever. When I'm ready, I open where I see. Where? That's where I will be one line. He said, the only secure way is to build our house on the word of God and to refuse worldly saying, all worldly saying that will tell you, I die, I die. Life is one time. Well, life is one time. You die, you die. But you are starting to build your foundation here. And the house that we are talking is not only here. The house that is in heaven. You are building all those foundations starting from here on earth until you go to heaven. That house is waiting for you. But the house that you built here on this earth is what you will meet in heaven. If you, you do carelessly with the things of God, when you go heaven, you will meet God will tell you, say, since you started building your house, you did not finish. But if you build the house here, you will see it. He said, I want to build my house on the word of God. I want to reject everything else and build a house. What are Timothy 3, 16 and 17 tells us? He said, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. So the word of God is given by inspiration. We need to hold to the things of God. We need to hold the word of God. He said, remember the Bible called Jesus, the, the chief cornerstones. He knows all about a certain secure foundation and is an expert in preparing and resting a foundation that means that in Matthew 7, 24, 27, encourage us to let build our lives, our home on the word of God. It is a foundation that will never change, never give way, never let us down. When you are on the word of God, the foundation will never give way, will never change, it will never let down. When you are in it, you might not have a lot of money like the people out there. You might not have all the, 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 uh, all these valuable things, all these things, these are uh, brand name things. But when you have the Lord in you, the brand name things outside will only ask you, what are you doing that you are so happy? You have peace. What is going on? He said, my life, my home, everything is built on the foundation of God. He said, life was digging into learning and applying the word of God is something anyone can do. Learning, digging, applying the word of God, anyone can do. So it's worth the effort. It is worth the effort. It takes practice. It takes effort and good teachers to help you along the way. When we come to hear the word of God, when we dig in the word of God, we apply the word of God and something to anyone, it can be profitable. And I will tell you today, it's worth it and an effort. If there is no effort, you will not be able. It takes practice. It takes effort and good teachers. The men of God, women of God that are standing before you, they are the teachers. They are the one that will be able to make you go along the way. So according to Matthew 7, 24, 27, reminds us it is difference between a life that stands and one that collapses on itself. When what the Bible tells us, the life that stands alone without the word of God is different. With your own life that is standing with the word of God, 
it will, you will see it shaking, but it will come back to where it is. When somebody gives testimony, I've been in this man for 20 years, 30, 40 years, what did you do? He said, God was in it. Our life, our things, the things that we do, we are not doing this on our own. God is the one. When somebody tell you about your marriage, you say, how long? You say, tell me, I say, this is not you. God, when you call God in, God is the one doing it. That's why we need to always make the things of God part of us. Because if you marry, you don't put God part of your marriage. One week later, divorce. Because everybody has their own character, which is at times even bad. Everyone, their own character is good to them. You are your own, the husband own is good, the wife own is good. So everybody knows their own character is good. You came from different region. You come to meet together to be in the home. You think it's easy? Everybody has their own character since they are baby to wear. And you can't meet another man with different character. It's not something easy. If God is not in it, it will not work. You have to drag God inside. Father Lord, this marriage, you created it. You are the one who won this marriage. I hand it over to you. Train us, teach us. Let us love one another because you will love and get out of marriage. When they say two people are together, they love, love, love. That love will even go and fade away. You will not have love for each other again. But when you continue to apply the things of God in it, God will bring affection back in that marriage. I pray every day, say, Father Lord, even my own for 20 years, continue to put affection. Because when it's not there, that's where somebody wants to look out in the street. That's why you see they start looking at your wife and say, you're getting fat. That's why I say your cheeks are getting too big. That's why somebody is telling you, you're getting too short. But when you apply the things of God, all those areas will not come. You will see how God will make that love sweet every day, sweetie. You say, ah, why you people love is so sweet? I'm not even seeing this agreement because the Lord dwells in it. But when the Lord is not there, just give yourself one, two years. You start hearing about divorce. This one don't like this one character, this no one. But when you press God in it, you will not look up. Even you are going 10, 20 years, it becomes even sweeter than honey. You start because God is there. He's making you happy. So we need to build those homes. Let's build those homes. There is no comp comparison between a life founded on the word of God and a life founded without it. There is no comparison. You cannot compare yourself with a life founded in on the word of God and a life that is not founded on the word of God. You can't compare it. You can have all your money, but I have my peace. I have my love in my family. I have all this. But the money is there, but the family is scattered. Everybody is doing their own thing. No love. Some people look at your life and say, ah, I wish I can live that life. So let's build. We that know about the things of God, this is our life. Let's build it. He said there is no comparison between a life founded on the word of God and a life founded without it. No foundation. So as we are here today, we are gathered. I just want to encourage everyone today, viewers all over the world, I want to encourage all of us to build our home, our foundation, our children. Our children will not control us. If you say to me, I want you to watch religious cartoon all day. Yes. On Saturday come, at least they will watch something that you are approved of, that you know. Because this foundation, if you don't build it now, in the long run, it will come and bite you back. You will be talking, your child telling you, they say, this is America, huh? Uh, if the children have freedom, I will tie that freedom out of you. You can't give them that freedom. But God, when you give them, you start telling them, this, this is my house, this is what we do. Yeah. But once you give them that freedom, you are done. Police people will be coming every day in your house. You won't speak the word in their hands. You speak the word every day in their hands. Because you give them that chance, police will come. They will, uh, they will tell you, they will take your own child that you born, give to case worker. Who is the case worker? Does the case worker know me or know God? So start that foundation now. Those who don't have it, start building it now. So you cannot go enter and shelter. Police people become enter and shelter. Trying to send them back to Af Africa, enter and shelter. Because the demon in this part of this world here is a powerful demon. If you don't know how to pray, you are done. Even you yourself. Even you yourself, if you don't know how to pray, they will take you away. Because so many things here that will discard our attention. You go start where they sell alcohol. You can buy a bottle, all type of bottle, the bottle they big like this. You will drink forever, you will not even get tired. It's there. $10 can buy that. 
If you say some people they won't smoke, they, the boxes of cigarettes they will smoke, you ask questions, you say, ha, what type of place is this? This is the place where everything is. They say all they make, but at the same time, God is not there. If you don't build that foundation for yourself, even you yourself, you will, you will be out of the way. Anything that can, whether it's the wind, the, the flood, the rain, will just sweep you like that. But if that foundation is there, that rain will come, you are still there. The wind will come, you are still there. Fire will come, you still there. Everything will come, you still there. You will be shaking. Because your foundation is solid. It won't go anywhere. So by his grace today, I want to encourage all of us, let be our lives and our home in the word of God. And as we continue to do so, it shall be well with us. We will be shaken, but nothing will happen with us. So shall it be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And I pray today, we will not only be a hearer of this word, but a doer of this word. So our life will be perfect in the presence of God. Open. So as we continue, we want to we want to pray our salvation prayer that we pray every day. I'd like to encourage anyone, if you have heard the Bible before and you are hearing it now, it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The word of God, everything will come to pass, but the word of God will remain forever. We will do everything on this earth, but God's words still remain forever. If we are struggling with the word of God, if we are struggling how to give our life to Christ, if we have sinned, in many different ways, but we are struggling how to learn or to know the word of God. Let us pray this prayer of salvation. It shall be well with us. Can we please stand? And say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins. I ask for your forgiveness today. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take, take, take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footstep daily by the power of the Holy Spirit help me to build my life and my home in your foundation thank you Lord for saving me and my family thank you for answering my prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we want to wish everyone that is celebrating their birthday in this month of November, and anyone worldwide celebrating their birthday, happy birthday to you. God bless you. God will increase you. God will take you through your breakthrough. And I pray that you will build your home, your home and your life in the word of God. As you continue your life, I pray for many, many more bad days to come. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise His holy name. Amen. Did you guys enjoy the word today? Build your life and your home in the foundation of God. Amen. I pray it shall come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We can open. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we please rise and stretch our hands over the woman of God and for the message that was being preached today. It's a very wonderful message. I know each and every one of us, even viewers all over the world, we are being blessed by the word. Our most gracious Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you. We honor you for this Holy Sabbath day. We thank you for your message that we have today, O oh Lord. Every Father, I pray thee, O God, I commit the woman of God in the hands of you. Continue to strengthen her, open doors of blessing in her life. We pray for knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Use her mightily as she has prepared herself to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, to bring souls unto the kingdom. May your manifestation, may your power be bestowed upon her life. Every Father, we commit her activities in the hands of you, Amen. that she will preach repentance and bring so many souls unto your kingdom. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That will lead us to our tithe and offerings. There are heavy loves all around. It's good to pay your tidings to the Lord and see what the Lord can do for you.
told you how. We told you how to. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, eternal Father, we thank you, oh God, for this holy Sabbath day. We thank you for our tithe and offerings that we bring unto your presence. Heavenly Father, I pray thee, O oh Lord, for all those who bring their tithe and offering. Lord, multiply in their life. Let there be increment, O oh God, that they will never lack. Everything that they desire for, O oh Lord, open blessings for them. For those who are not able to bring their tithe and offering for one reason or the other, Heavenly Father, open doors of blessing for them. Provide for them so that they will be able to remember you and build up your kingdom, O oh God. Lord, as you said in the book of Malachi, there are so many promises. They say, bring you into the storehouse. I will open windows of blessing for you. There will not be enough room to store those blessings. Heavenly Father, we tap onto those promises, O oh God. 
We thank you for this day. We honor you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adorations. So shall it be in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I will now turn the rest of the service to the woman of God for our final prayer. And before we go into that, please turn around as we normally bless our waters. And if you have water in your hands, viewers all over the world, we are wherever you are. Can you just get a bottle of water, connect your feet? Connect your faith with us and we're going to pray over this water. This water is just an ordinary water, but as our faith is being connected onto it, God is going to work signs and wonders, miracles, healing is going to take place. I will pronounce the following blessings upon this water. Oh God, eternal Father, by the power and authority of the Mechazelic priesthood which I hold. Bless and sanctify this water to the souls of all those who drink of it. Amen. Heavenly Father, breathe unto this water, O Lord. Transform this water into your blood. We pray thee, O God, every sickness in our body, every pain, every stress. Lord, as we partake of this water, let instant healing take place. Everything that we have been praying for, that have been delayance in our life, Lord, as we partake of this water, let there be miracles. Let there be signs and wonders. Heavenly Father, let this water be a fountain water that will bring peace in our heart, that will bring comfort in our mind. I pray to you, O God, for all those who are sick, as they partake of this water, O oh Lord, I know the power of God will be manifest. Healings will take place. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. Can we please pronounce seven times the blood of Jesus upon this water? The blood of Jesus. 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 The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Drink it, and you come back here with a testimony and testify about the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give a shout offering to the Lord as we have come to the end of our service today. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. We give all glory to his name as we honor him. We thank God for today. Let us pray as we have come to the end of today's service. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we leave this place, guide us so that we can reach our destination safely. Amen. Help us to submit and rely on you alone. Direct our path and give us the confidence to follow your direction. Help us to obey everything that you have taught us through your servant. Building our life, our home Amen. on your word. Amen. May we strive in all areas this week and be firmly rooted in your love in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, we come before you today weak and afraid. Our world feels frightened in ways that it cannot be like before. Thank you, Lord, that we can trust you to be the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Thank you for being a God we can trust wholeheartedly without fear or reservation. Lord, we ask for your protection over us today, over this ministry, <laughs> over our children worldwide, over the vulnerable ones. We ask that, Lord, you will elect an edge of protection around our families and our loved ones. We ask that you will place a shield around those we love and care for. Please, Lord, do not let the fairy depth of the enemy touches us. We pray today, Lord, the eyes of the enemy will not see us. We pray that you are a God who never slumber. 
We trust in you. We pray that our life will be shaken, but it will still continue to stand in that foundation of the word of God. Our homes will be shaken, but it will still continue to stand in that firm foundation of the word of God. Father Lord, we pray none of us will die prematurely. We will not die untimely. We will not die by accident, by atrocity, neither gunshot. Sickness, illness, or disease will not kill us. Many sickness, cancer, or diabetes, all those sickness will not have eyes to see us. Wherever we step, we step there at the right time. Lord, we pray for those who are looking for wife and husband and reverence you. Lord, you say married is a thing from you, is sacred. We pray that that foundation that everyone is looking for, you will bless them with their rightful partners, their rightful wife and husband in the name of Jesus. Those who are praying and asking for the foot of the womb, as you bless Sarah at the age of 99, you will come and bless everyone that is waiting and give testimony to the glory of your name. Father, Lord, we pray wherever we step, we step at the right time. I pray today the power, the power of God, the anointing, the protection of God will dwell upon our lives. I pray the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and, and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. I pray the peace of God will dwell upon your life all your days on this earth. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace. The grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, God goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Seven powerful amen. 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 Seven powerful hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Go in peace and have a wonderful blessings and wonderful Sunday blessings. Viewers all over the world, God bless you all. Amen. See you back on Thursday. Thursday. See you all on Thursday. everyone for joining today thanks thanks is that mickey thanks sombojusu our father in the lord med mark george thanks for joining miss anna content thanks for joining god bless our beloved wife melinda musa thanks for joining fatima tasabi always here thanks for joining god bless you all christopher charlie god bless you thanks for joining thanks for joining thanks for joining Shepu Koroma, thanks for joining. And everybody else, I believe I have called everybody else. If I didn't call your name, thank you and thanks for stopping by. Continue to stop by. God bless you. Again, I see Manny James, thanks for joining. God bless you. God bless you. God bless everyone that's stopping by today. We appreciate your time in the presence of God. Thank you. Come again and join us. Um, next Sunday, come again and join us on, on Thursday for our prayer meeting. Come again and join us on Saturday for our Bible study. As you continue to do so, you will be blessed. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Pastor Rosemary Benjamin James. You can go there and subscribe and like the, um, the videos and share the videos. It shall be well with you. You all have a wonderful evening. Shalom. Love for me to you all. Love from OPM USA. We love you all. Thanks for stopping by. Bye bye.